Now, she was born into a dynamic family, mother an American and father South African from Johannesburg. Rio was raised in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, and at an early age of three, Rio discovered her passion for art with the support of her family. And she started attending acting classes, which led to her performing in productions. Now, she's recently been involved in numerous productions, such as commercials, films, and passion projects and as i mentioned earlier she recently had the pleasure of playing the female lead in the upcoming fish's tail have a look at this give me that fish sandwich yeah yeah it's chicken actually it's just named after mr fish Behari. you know that guy that guy is a legend hola amigos Hey, fish man fish fish mr fish Behari. mr fish fisher fishers make you know <laughs> What's happening, fish? You don't look so good. I need to save my dad's house. I need to make some money fast. I got a plan that's gonna fix us up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're looking for Jamaica Jack. And we came to borrow money. I am to decide if I how much. Why are you on your arg? What do you know about art? Remember now, my name's Geppetto, and you're from Goa. Darlings. Who are you? Pastor Speedy Gonzalez. Yes, you are. <laughs> my name is Talp Jagasar. We are from the fraud department. Yes, police? Yeah, my money is being stolen by the dumbest people on the planet. <laughs> Do not know what happened there, but joining me now, lead actress from Fish's Tale, Rio. Welcome to RTLSA, and such a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. I feel so honored to be here. Oh, please. <laughs> Trust me, we're honored having you on the show. Now, I met you on set um, during the filming of the show. Let me just tell you something. You are as sweet off air or off camera as what you are on camera. And that's uh, that's something you can take to the bank. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Tell me, so, tell I'm me sorry. I bit. hope my video is not lagging too much. No, no, you're running fine. Don't stress about that. Tell me a little about the experience with Fish's Tail. How how did you enjoy the experience? It was definitely probably one of my favorite productions to work on so far in my career. Um, we shot the feature film in eight days, and that is a feat that I don't know how many production companies have done. We are currently still in post, and uh, it was a very exciting process. We all grew very close in the very limited time mm. we had, and it was constantly hurry up and wait. Um, <laughs> I definitely think that that it was a good opportunity for me to create some context in the industry, as well as not just film, but also there are producers and singers and stuff, and I sing myself. And mm -hmm. so there were many opportunities meeting everybody there, and it was a great experience, and I can't wait to see the film. Oh, neither can I, I'll tell you what. Um... I had Jim Atkins on my show a little while back. Uh, he was he was one of my Monday Night Madness guests, and he spoke very highly of the the cast and crew on this actual production. and And on the two days that I spent on sets as well, I'll tell you what I felt the same. What was your feeling about it? Because there's no ways that you could film in eight days without having a decent cast and crew. No, I think that um, everybody that was on the crew was definitely very passionately raw because everybody would put the same amount of effort in and without having that i don't think we would have been able to complete it there was no uh we had fun on set but when it came to fooling around there wasn't a lot of that mm. it was either okay next scene next scene makeup hair next scene and uh we finished probably around nine o'clock at night and we would start really early in the morning and most of the cast and crew were set up in a hotel so we were all staying together and nice. uh no it, it was 
it was really a really great experience. I don't really know how to explain it. It was very uh no, it was. I mean, I can speak from being there myself. It was an absolutely awesome experience. What was your favorite part of the whole um, filming process within those eight days? Hmm. Well, besides, there are a few things. Besides, besides filming with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that every night when we wrapped, sometimes we would be in Scottsboro, sometimes we'll be... Um, it just at a different location that was further away and we would get in these buses and spend maybe two hours on them and usually it was after the wrap and we would play music in the buses and usually blinding lights would come on by the oh, weekend <laughs> and uh we'd often finding ourselves nearly every night jabbing to the song in the bus very excited for the next day i remember on the very last day i have a video i will not send it because <laughs> uh, <laughs> the dancing is very strange but um we were all just jamming it was me and the makeup ladies me and the costume ladies and we were just in the car and i probably think that was my best moment on set is when we were in the car after it just wrapped and we were all just partying to the weekend now, what was it like working with someone like Bruce Gounder? Because, I mean, he is an absolute legend in the industry. And you guys just seem to have quite a, an amazing rapport on set. Bruce and me get along very, very well. We're um, the type of people that like, so, for example, if he needs someone to do a poster, I will put everyone that I know into that. And then he will help me with, maybe finding someone where I could go get my hair done for the film, or he'll give me the opportunity to re-audition for other films because he knows the potential that I have. We get along very well. Um, it's very, very fascinating to work with him because he actually gets into character on set mm. and uh, he'll sit there and he'll turn and then you'll think about what he's going to say. And he's like, you know, actually I like this. I, I think, I think this would be funny. And he makes up these funnier moments in the film as we're filming. Mm. And it's just a blast to work with him because he's not hard to work with. No, absolutely. Now you started from a very young age. Um, what made you get into it? You know, and, and what was your, at, at five, six years old, seven years old even, was your end goal movies or was it to be a singer or a dancer or what, what was your end goal? And I know you know in near your end goal yet, but what were you <laughs> thinking when you were that young? Yeah, um, both of my parents are sound engineers. So my mom was a sound engineer in uh, commercials and my dad is a sound engineer with bands. So he worked okay. with bands. He worked with Lucky Dube and Eddie Grant and some of um, South African's finest bands. And because my parents came from the entertainment industry, my mother was like, Rio, we're putting you in dancing, we're putting you in singing, we're putting you in acting. Mm -hmm. So I kind of grew up around the industry. And I went when I was three years old, I wanted to be a singer. And then um, about six years old, I started acting at the Durban Youth center i think it was in johannesburg and uh, from that moment on i was like i want to be an actress nice. i would love to be an actress and it hasn't changed since um i i definitely think i'm was put in a privileged household that allowed me to be able to focus on the passions in my life amazing right where are you going what's your plan for the next five to ten years are we going to see you in Hollywood? Ooh. I hope. I hope so. I actually went to a psychic the other day, oh, and uh, do, tell. do tell. I went to a psychic. Married and, seven um, kids. <laughs> she she told me that I was I was murdered in my past life. Oh dear. And, then, and yes, and then she was like, "But this life, I can see you being in something to do with murder documentaries and." Um, investigation movies and i thought oh that's a bit weird hmm. but um she also told me don't follow <laughs> hollywood don't follow like going into the big film industry in hollywood either do things independently because i could be more successful at it um so i would say my plan right now is 
currently I'm just auditioning for anything I can find in Durban and around Durban. I hope I'm studying cinematography at the moment at AFTA. I'm nearly finished. And uh, perhaps next year I could go find an internship in Cape Town. And maybe there will be more opportunities because the film industry in Durban is growing. And that is brilliant. But then in the future, I do intend to go to America and uh, hopefully make it there. Start low, extra parts, and then see where I could go. Commercials, anything I could do. The next release Theron coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> now, Rio, uh, when can we expect to see Fish's Tale on the screens? As far as I know, I believe that it's coming out in December. We are still fine tuning it and making sure that it's perfect enough to um, let let everybody see. Um, but as far as I know, I think it is December. Well, Rio, it's been an Christmas. absolute pleasure. And thank you for making the time to talk to us. I know we've been talking about doing this for a couple of weeks already, and you've been shooting things, and it's just been absolute chaos. But it was so good to have you on the show for a change. And I want to invite you now to join me one night on Monday Madness, because it will be absolute chaos. But then it's, an, it's going to go for oh. an hour, though. It's going to go for an hour, and oh. we talk about <laughs> everything. <laughs> I would love to do that. All right, we're going to make that happen. Rio, best of luck, and we look forward to seeing your name in lights going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I had such a nice time. I feel like I got a bit nervous. Oh, no need to be nervous. You're a nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful Thank weekend. You. Right, Rio joining us on um, RTLSA, and what a lovely young lady she is, and I'm sure she's got a very bright future ahead of her. And I uh, look forward to seeing her in all her fame and fortune going forward. You're listing to RTLSA. I'm going to just be honest. This was the greatest interview of all time. This is Donovan Copley from Hot Water. Hi, I'm Kerry Miller. Hey, I'm Ross from Prime Circle. Love, love, love. RTL. My new addiction. Let me, not, let, me, let me not just talk about it. I'll, let me show you in the back of the window where I'm at. Cabinet has decided to place the entire country on alert level two. No, thank you for getting me out of bed this morning. Informative, relevant, diverse, interactive, so educational, fantastic, super fulfilling. I think most of the time in South Africa, certainly provincial cricket, they might as well play because they're not spectators going to watch anyway. <laughs> they're hugging, and shaking of hands, and kissing is a thing of the past. And then overnight into Thursday, we're expecting that cold fun to spread showers into most... The playlist is incredible. Love the music. Best music. Entertaining. So entertaining. Entertaining and entertaining. They wanted radio people because radio people can basically talk shit when things go wrong. A sight that just a few weeks ago seemed scarcely possible. Eden Park is back in business, a capacity... Fine. No, but seriously, on a serious note, I think I actually swiped right from the one day when I saw you. I didn't know. You didn't. But you wouldn't know. Oh, dear. And I love this dress. If I tell you, I didn't wear a bra, that was so good. <laughs> Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for Splashdown. I will try to fix you. You guys are the lifeblood of what's left of this music industry. And of course, Noel Johnson. We love your sexy legs. Especially because of Noel Johnson. Jeez, that man is sexy. Thank God for RTLSA. You are a star. RTLSA. Home of legends. Legends. Legends.